A wedding, you may or may not know this, but a wedding is a rendition of the second coming of Jesus Christ. And when we perform a wedding, when we observe them, when we celebrate them, it is about remembering the second coming of Christ. And though it has not happened, we look forward to it. My dearest Kirby, each day that I have known you, I have loved you more and more, and it is hard to imagine loving you more than I do. And yet each day I am more amazed by your beauty, your wit, your fire, your energy, and your enormous heart. And so I can only imagine the love I will feel decades from now, a lifetime of getting to know the most lovely and wonderful woman alive. The day is finally here and I simply cannot believe it's finally time to marry my best friend. Luke saying yes to you was the easiest choice of my life as I trust you with my life itself. When I think about our future, all I can do is smile as I know that you will rely on the Lord no matter what life may throw at us. My prayer for our lives is that God would use them for His purpose. I pray that our spirits will always be sensitive and aware of where He is directing us. And so we begin this great adventure. You are the love of my life and my best friend, and together with you the sky is the limit. With all my love, Luke. From this day forward, we will grow in the Lord together and allow Him to guide us in our future family for His glory. The Lord is combining our past for a reason I cannot wait to live it out with the easiest to love man. It'll be the most beautiful journey we've ever embarked on. I love you, times infinity, Luke Long, and I can't wait to see the most handsome man in the world wait for me at the altar. For the Lord our God, the Lord Almighty reigns. Let us rejoice and be glad and give glory to Him. For the marriage of the Lamb has come, and His bride has made herself ready. And so we have a representation of the church with Kirby in white and purity, made clean by the blood of Jesus Christ representing the church. Luke Long will represent Christ as he goes and gets his bride. John finishes with, these words of God are true. We are in Christ, the things Christ ordains, like marriage, you cannot be torn asunder. No one and let no man tear asunder what God has brought together today. It is your commitment, is it not? I can now pronounce, as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, as an official of the state of Texas, that you are now husband and wife. <laughs> and you may now kiss the bride. Yeah.